Hello everyone this is my next video today i'm going to explain the good question number 1351 count negative numbers in sorted matrix given a m into n matrix grid which is sorted in non increasing order both row wise and column wise return the number of negative numbers in grid what the given basically question they given m into n matrix okay with grid name which is sorted in non increasing order means it is in descending order both row wise as well as column wise okay we need to return the which is negative number that we need to return see in the example one grid consist of zero through consist of 4 3 2 minus 1 in this so you can observe that all row wise is in descending order you can compare column wise also see 4 3 1 minus 1 this is also in a descending order okay we need to return which is negative number that we, we that we need to return uh, in example 2 all are positive values there are no negative so we are returning our output as zero we can briefly understand in the whiteboard i'll go with first example okay see first example consists of elements 4 3 2 minus 1 3 2 1 1 one, 1 one, one, Minus one, minus two, minus one, minus one, minus two, minus three. This is a four cross four matrix, four rows and four columns. Okay. See what we need to do means which are negative numbers. Just we need to add them. See in this, these you can observe this row. This is a zero row. Uh, you see they are descending order, and you can compare with the column also. These are in descending order. Okay, just we need to just we need to count which is negative number that much only. In the for in the zero row, one is negative. We can take answer variable. Uh, we can print one. One is negative. See, uh, in first row, another one is negative. It is updated to. Uh, in the second row, there are two negative. It will become four. In the third row, all elements are negative. Means four. It is updated eight. We are returning eight as answer. In the example two, see three two one zero. It is a two cross row matrix. It is two rows, two columns. Okay. In this, no numbers are negative, so our answer will be zero. Okay. Let's briefly understand the how it is going to work in coding part. A initialize answer variable to keep track the negative number in the grid. Starting with initialize it to zero. After that, we taken two for loops to iterate through element in the grid. Here, outer for loop starts I, variable with i equals to zero up to it will traverse uh, last element. Inner for loop starts the variable with j up to it will traverse last element. Then I will check the condition. Grid of i j is less than zero means then I will increment my answer. Okay, or else no. Finally, after iterating all the elements of the grid, then finally I will return the answer. How it is going to work? Let's we can dry run. Let's we can dry run with this example. Okay, see our starting our answer variable will be with the initializer to zero. I will start from zero. It will travel up to the last element four. J will be starting zero. It will also travel up to last element. Now we will check grid. Here zero zero grid zero zero. We will check zero zero means four. It should be less than zero. Then only we will increment. It is four. No. Then our J, uh, then we will our answer will be not incremented. Now our J value will be incremented to one. Zero one will check. Zero one. No three is greater than zero. No our J value will be incremented to two. Then one our J value will be incremented to three. See zero three is minus one. Where minus one is less than zero. Our we will increment our answer by one. Now our I value will be updated to one and J will start from zero. Now we will check grid. Grid one of zero. One zero is positive. It should be less than zero. Means it will not. It is positive. It will not. Uh, our answer will not increment. We will check now. J value updated to one. We will check one one. One one is two. Where two is greater than zero, it will not increment. Now we will check. Our J will be updated to two. Now one two. One two is positive. It will not increment. Now J value will update to three. One three is minus one. Minus one is less than zero. Our answer value will be updated, increased to two. Now, I value is updated to two. J will start from zero. Now we will check grid 
2 of 0. It should be less than 0. Okay. 2 of 0 is 1. It is greater than 0, not work. Now j value will update it to 1. 2, 1. It is positive. It will not uh, answer will not increment it. Now j value will be updated to 2. Now we will check 2, 2, minus 1. Where minus 1 is less than 0, our answer is count incremented to 3. Now our j value will be updated to 3. We will check now 2, 3. 2, 3. 2, 3 is minus 2. Minus 2 is less than 0. So our answer will be up, updated to 4. Now i value will be 3. j will start from 0. Now we will check grid 3 of 0 should be less than 0. 3 of 0 is minus 1. Where minus 1 is less than 0, 4 will be increment to 5. Now j value up to 1. Now we will check 3 1. 3 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 is less than 0. So our answer will be 6 now. Now j value is up to 2. 2. 3 2. 3 2 is minus 2. Where minus 2 is less than 0. So our answer value is updated to 7. j value updated to 3 now. 3 3 is minus 3. Where minus 3 is less than 0. Now, it is answer is updated to 8. Now, our j value will become 4. This condition will become false because 4 is less than 4. It is or it will come out of j loop. Now, our i value will be 4 now. Where 4 is less than 4, this condition is false. It will come out of the entire for loop. It will come out of the entire nest, this nested for loop. Finally, we are returning the answer. Answer is 8. Okay. Let's we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking B of Mn. Here where M is the number of row matrix and N is the number of column matrix. Because we are taking two nested for loops, it will iterate M times, it will iterate N times of the matrix. So it is taking time of B of Mn. Where it comes to the space complexity, it is taking B of 1. Because we are not using extra space, it will take only constant amount of space. So time, space complexity is taking B of 1. Uh, there is another optimal solution with um, uh, reduced time complexity that I have shown. In this logic what I done, I taken two variables m and n. m is the m represents the number of rows matrix and n represents the number of column matrix. Okay. I taken one variable count. It is initialized to zero. After that, I taken two variables row and column. Row is set to zero and column is set to the last element. Okay. After that, I will take one while loop. While loop will what will do means it will set the condition. Row should be less than number of row matrix. And column should be always greater than or equal to 0. If it is the condition is true means then it will check the if condition. If grid row column is less than 0 means then our count will be added. Count plus m minus row. After that we will decrease the column by 1. If the if condition is false means else what we will do? We will do just we will increment the row. Finally after completion of the while loop we just we will return the our count. Okay. Let's we can dry run this logic. Let's we can dry run the first example. Okay, here m is number of row matrix. Here m is 4 and n is 4. Okay, count is starting initialized to 0. Row value will be 0. Okay, and call value will be n minus 1 means 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, now we will check the uh, uh, condition. Okay, grid. Row value is 0 and call value is 3. It should be less than 0. So we check 0, 3. Yeah, minus 1 is less than 0. Yeah, this condition is true means now we will what will we will do count. Our count will be now starting it will be 0 plus m yeah, where m is 4. Row is 0. Our count value will be 4. Now it is updated to 4. Now call will be decreased by 1. Now call value will be Okay, now we will check 0, 2. 0, 2. 0, 2, what is it? 2. 0, 2 is what is it? 2. 2 is less than 0. This condition is false. What we will do? Then if will be not put, else will be work. Now row value will be updated to 1. Now we will check grid 1, 2. 1, 2 is 1. It should be less than 0. 1 is less than 0. This condition is false. So else will be work. Row will be incremented by 1. Row will be 2 now. We will check 2, 2. Grid 2, 2. Grid 2, 2 is minus 1. Let's, I will dry down with this first example. Okay, Here, m represents the number of row matrix. There are 4. And n represents the number of column matrix. Here, 4. Our count value will be 0. Starting. 
okay now rho is initialized to 0 and call is initialized to n minus 1 means 4 minus 1 is 3 okay now we'll check the condition if grid row column row is 0 and call is 3 it should be less than 0 okay so 0 3 means minus 1 okay minus 1 is less than 0 yeah this condition is true so our if will be work if means it will work count starting count value is 0 plus m where m is 4 and row value is 0 our count value will be 4 4 okay now call will be decreased by 1 means it is decreased by 2 now our grid will be 0 2 it should be less than 0 0 2 will check 0 2 is 2 this condition is false so else will work row plus plus a row value will be updated to 1 now we will check grid 1 2 1 2 it should be less than 0 1 2 what is there 1 2 is 1 1 is less than 0 this condition is false so our else will be work row will be updated to 1 uh, row will be updated to 2. Okay, we will check now grid 2, 2. Okay, grid 2, 2 it should be less than 0. Grid 2, 2, 2, 2 is minus 1. Here minus 1 is less than 0. Yeah, this condition is true. So our count will be now 4. This count 4 plus m value 4 minus row value is 2. 4 plus 4, 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. Now, 4 will be updated to 6. Now, call will be decreased by 1. It will become 1. Okay. Now, we will check grid 2, 1. It will be less than 0. 2, 1 is 1. 1 is less than 0. This condition is false. So, now else will work. Row will be updated to 1. Now, grid will be 3, 1. 3, 1 is minus 1. It should be less than 0. Yeah, this condition is true. So, our count will be now 6 plus m value is 4 minus rho value is 3. 6 plus 4, 10, 10 minus uh, 3, 7. Our count value will be 7 now. Okay. Now, call will be decreased by 1. Call will be decreased by 1, okay? It will become 0. Now, grid will be 3, 0. It should be less than 0. 3, 0 is minus 1. Minus 1 is less than 0. Yeah, this condition is true. So, our count will be now this 7 plus m value is 4 minus row value is 3. Our count will become 7 plus 4, 11, 11 minus 3 is 8. Okay. Now, call will decrease by 1. It will become 0, will become minus 1. What will happen? This condition will become false because minus 1 is greater than or equals to 0. No, this condition will become false. We will come up with this while loop and we will return the count. Our count is 8 now. We will return in 8. Okay. This is the logic of, uh, this is the dry run of this code. Let's we can uh, run the code now. Yeah, this is accepted solution. We can submit the code now. Yeah, this is accepted. Let's discuss the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. Time complexity is taking big of m. Here, where m is the number of rows in the matrix, which will iterate all the elements once. And space complexity is big of 1. Because we are using only constant amount of space, it does not take any extra space though. Thank you guys for watching my video.